This week on Twende, we are in Busia. We will tell you why bicycles are still a popular mode of transport. We will show you the international boats that ferry people overseas. We will visit the place the locals call Mwishawa, Kenya and give you a taste of island life. Lastly, we will take you to where the Nzoya drains into Lake Victoria and show you how the people literally live on the edge. Tuko hapa Busia, najua wengine unafikiria Busia ni tu mambo ya trela, mabiashara, boda, but there's so much to see here in Busia and we are here to tell you all about it. Twende. Na of course tuko Busia na in uniform. Lazima kuna bicycle, lazima kuna radio, lazima kule vizuri. So kama sasa hizi naenda kuchukua radio. Na nitakula vizuri. <laughs> There are two Busias, the Kenyan one and the Ugandan one. Busians live up to the name of the county. They are busy, oh, sorry, busy people. Early in the morning, they are up and about, wakienda kujenga inchi, asimoja, bili. Pengine hapon dipo jina busy litoka. Okay, nimeenda sana. It is a cosmopolitan town with many communities residing here. The local people are found on both sides of the border. So, it is common to find one family having members from both nations. At one point in time, the county had senior government officials in both Uganda and Kenya who are siblings. So, it is common to find one family having members from both nations. This is an important regional town as many trucks use this border to transit to the other EAC nations. Every minute, 24 hours a day, trucks cross in and out of Uganda. Today, many parts of Kenya have moved to motorized bicycles. Amokipenda, pikipiki. But Busia remains the last stronghold of bicycles that run on Ugali. Omundu strong, sembe. Sasa nikulizee, sasa niaje hapo Busia bado watu watu wanatumia bicycle. Si tuna si si napenda bicycle. Eh. Ju pia kulingana na sisi waluya. Eh. Well, sasa hii ndio kama culture yetu. Sisi waluya tunapenda baskili sana eh yeah. eh na kwanza je kwanza tuko tuko boda eh yeah. eh ndo hata kwanza hiyo jina ilianzia tuko bo oh boda boda ndo sasa tukaleta baskili tukaita boda boda tuna oh. to serve eh yeah. boda Uganda na ke na Kenya na Kenya ndo oh so e baskili inaitwa uh, boda 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 haitwi tu haitwi baskili eh yeah. na na saa motorbike inaitwa nini Mo, motorbike si ni pikipiki tu oh pikipiki eh yeah. <laughs> Busia has done more than contribute to the economy of Kenya. It has contributed to the language as well. In other parts of Kenya, it is rare to see bicycles being used to carry goods and people. But in Busia, it is common. After all, the bicycle has deep roots here. Many people still prefer this mode of transport. Ni pesa ngapi sasa hapa kutumia boda boda? Kwa kawaida hapa busia town service tuna charge ni 30 ama 20. Eh eh. Nategemea na mali tunaenda. Eh. Kama ni mbali just as kama kilomita moja na nusu 30. 30 eh. Na ile mbali zaidi umeenda na boda ni wapi? Ni kaa kilomita ngapi? Ukibeba mtu. Mbali yenye naweza enda nayo boda boda hii. Eh. 
kama kilomita mbili. Kilomita mbili eh? Kilomita mbili umebeba mtu na unamfikisha. Milima na mabonde utamfikisha. Unamfikisha sawa. Today Busia has a one border stop for both countries. Before 2018, one had to clear at the Kenya border point, then travel across to the Ugandan side using bicycle taxis for the short ride. Then in keeping with times, after the two border points became one, what was it border moja ikakuwa tu boda. Sasa imagine what wabusia hange tu patia jina boda. Tungikuwa tu naitaaji. But border borders are not found everywhere in Busia. There are a few exceptions. That is where we head to next. Most people associate Lake Victoria on the Kenyan side with the counties in Nyanza. However, a section of it is found in western specifically Busia. There are many beaches on the shores of this part of Lake Victoria. Good places to visit include this one at Seaport. This is where the Seo River that begins its journey in Bungoma finally ends. most active beach seems to be Marenga. The center's main economic activity is fishing. Hapa pia kuna biashara nyingi kati ya Kenya na wa Uganda, but instead of trucks lining up, it is boats. Many Ugandans from the southeastern islands like Sigulu find the Kenyan mainland closer and thus come for their supplies here. It helps that they belong to the same community as their Kenyan neighbors, the Samia. Besides, unakumbuka hawa kuenda Berlin in 1895 when the border was being drawn. Kuna vitu vingi vya kuona hapa Busia. Right now tuko hapa Marenga Beach. And I'm about to go ni experience kabisa hii navaje hivi kama tisho okay si ni watu wa bara <laughs> unavaa navaa life jacket kama tisho yeah oh alafu na okay nime ride bicycle niliwaambia niliwaambia busie kuna vitu mob Let's go boat. See ride. Maybe next time, isn't it? Next time to ride. Nitafunzwa. Lakini say we are we are headed to a surprise. I won't spoil the surprise. Twende. About a kilometer from the mainland is this long, narrow and uninhabited island. It is called Ketia. The island has steep edges and that makes it hard for people to colonize it. <laughs> no human lives here. Our next destination is a place described as Wishowa, Kenya. This is the boat in it was Kuku na Kumachi na Kumachi. Is this a yoni boat ya Uganda? Hata unaweza ona colors ni za UG. Napeleka to Uganda. Means of transport kwa maji obviously ni boat. These are Kenyan vessel, Ugandan vessel, side to side, peace and harmony. Murio motie. These are no ordinary boats. They are international. They will make a stop here and continue with the journey to Uganda. Hawa uvu kaboda kama samaki. Kuna mipaka. These boats do not fly the flags of the country. Instead, they have the whole country and the owner painted on the side. Hiyo ndio logbook. 
Shafika Sumba Island. And we'll try to tajaribu ku hike kidogo. Lo naona ni mbali, tajaribu. The last island on this side of the border. It will cost you from Marenga to Sumba Island 100 Kenya shillings. Island has one main center on the western side. Hapa ni kama migingo, only that there is more space. Despite being a large island, nearly all the people have built on this beach. All the houses are made of iron sheets. Sumba ni Kenya, okay. alafu mpaka iko kwa maji. Mpaka iko kwa maji. Ndio. Na huku huko huko vipi? Huku eh, maisha ni poa. Mm. Lakini eh, kwanza kabisa ni ile kuwashukuru leo mm. nyenye kututembelea. Yeah. Kwa muda mwingi sana tujaikuwa na watu wa media na eh, watu na feel kama uh, sisi tumesahaulika. Yeah. Kwa sababu hapa kujaribu kuangalia Hakuna kitu yote itakuonyesha tuko Kenya hata tu flag ya Kenya iko hapa. Yeah. Na geographical eh, ukiangalia unaambiwa hii island iko Kenya. Yeah. So eh, tunashukuru sana kwa kututembelea na hata pia kwa eh, mteza kujulisha watu wengine yeah. ati hivi ndio mwisho wa Kenya upande wa Busia inafanana hivi. Life here revolves around only one thing. Hapa tuko famous kwa production ya samaki. Eh eh. Nail patch. Nail patch. Eh na ngege, tilapia, mudfish, catfish. Eh. Hapa kwa lake. Gani ndio kubwa kwa kwa au wenye umewataja? Gani ndio kubwa? Nadhani zote ziki grow. Eh. Ile huwa ni kubwa sana ni Nile patch. Nile patch. Inaitwa aje? Mbuta, okay. Eh, kubwa. Hmm. Kiasi gani sasa? Eh, ineza fika kitu kama ata 120 kgs. 120 kgs. Na zaidi vile mekoma. Mbae. Sao wageni wetu tunawakaribisha ata muendo muambia wale wenye wamebaki huko kuwa sumba ni poa maisha ni raisi Ukifanya kazi na ukikaa ni ngumu Kakula samaki ile tamu fresh ya nyinatoka kwa maji wakatu wata unayono Za zingine sinafikanga hapa kama bado zingali nzima Inaruka ruka tu inakupatia hape taiti ya kui Ya kui kula Hapa mburu kenge wamepata kuhishi na watu Wacha ni kuambia perfect example of coexistence. They are not a threat to people and they just move along the beach looking for scraps of food. In the water though, they target the catch from the fishermen. Sumbans are friendly people and they go along with their daily activities like other mainlanders, although they have no electricity around. After a night of work, these fishermen rest in the shade sipping Majia Sumba. Sumba's hill is 1,243 meters above sea level and I make my first attempt to climb it. Okay, so after kufika what we shall call Point Njora, I decide to put a pause for later. We still have a lot to explore in Busia. Our next ride will take us about an hour. I 
Our next stop is where the second biggest river in Kenya by discharge enters Lake Victoria. This river has put Budalangi firmly on the Kenyan map, the Nzoia. The river has a discharge of about 118 cubic meters or about 3,721 million cubic meters annually, making it the second biggest river in the country by discharge after River Tana. Kiona hii maji brown inamaanisha river imejaa sasa inamwaga kwa lake. Yeah. Na niona vile tulikuwa tumetoka huku Sumba. Sumba. Yeah. Maji likuwa clear. Yeah. Sasa sasa ni maji ya ya, ya mto imeingia. Ya imeingia kwa, kwa lake. That's why umeona kuna clearness na hii brown. Ina brownness. Na pia yeah. demarcation imeona hapo unaweza hapa ndio then Zoya mouth is one of the hardest to access as it forms a large delta that is inaccessible by land. To see it, you can either approach it from Musanda, about five kilometers upstream, or you can do like us, approach it from the lake. Like the Yala on the east, Zoya contributes to the water in the Yala swamp. Despite being the largest contributor of water to this part of the swamp, the wetland is not called Zoya swamp. This is still Yala swamp. Although it is a harsh, inhospitable place, some people have made a home here. This is Sango. A two-structure center that wasn't always like this. Today, only two structures stand. Two years ago, this place was a thriving village with shops. Na Ataka Club. Hapa ni Sango, Nanganda Beach. Nanganda Beach. Nanganda Beach. So niambia ni elezeo kuhusu Sango. Sasa hapa ndio tunafanyanga kazi yeah. e, ya kulima, ya kuvua. Yeah. E, sisi tunafanyanga hapa. Okay. E, sasa maji ilikuja ikatofekti, mm. tukatoka hapa tena tumerudi. Mm. Maji, maji kusema maji. So kulikuwa na kulikuwa vipi before hiyo maji? Hiyo maji ilikuja ikaja yeah. sana. Yeah. Kwa rivalizoria yetu yeah. ikakuja ika, ikakuwa mingi. Yeah. E, sasa tukaenda. Okay, so in this show, we have told you myths and legends of villages disappearing without any evidence. However, in this case, we are about to provide irrefutable proof that the Nzoya swallowed a village. This is Sango in December 2018, a thriving cosmopolitan village that had people of different communities and nationalities living here. Notice something, though. The water was starting to flood the houses. Hapa, they didn't need to go to the river to fetch water. The river came to your doorstep. The only place one could chill that wasn't waterlogged was in a boat. Sango was like Venice. You could take a boat to your doorstep. For other Kenyans, this would have been the sign to park and leave, but you have to remember that Sango is in Budalangi, a place associated with floods. The Wanyala used to the Nzoya rising and destroying everything, so he ain't kwa maja kutisha. But then in 2020, Nzoya ikasema, inakatu mezoyana. Hum kutano takwisha, and all the 30 houses were destroyed. Lake Victoria rose to its highest levels in recent years and wiped the small village from the map. But the Busia people have lived with this river all their lives in a complicated love and hate relationship. Sasa vile mtu umetulia, wamerudi nyumbani. 
hivi leo mnaona tunachoma yeah. ni moja kufanya tu safi uh-huh. juu hatuwezi tukafieka mara moja tukamaliza uh-huh. so lazima tuweke moto kidogo uh-huh. juu sasa tukifuatilia na je na panga uh-huh. tunapata zizi za kulima hatuharibi chochote wala kuvamia kitu yote wala, wala hatuna lengo baya uh-huh. ila tu iwe usafi uh-huh. tupate kufieka tuweke E, vyakula sababu vile maji kulijaa yeah. sasa vitu vingi vikaanza kumea hapa. Yeah. 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 Na acha nikuulizee sasa vile umesema vitu vingi vilianza kumea eh. Kwa ni sango ilikuwa kubwa kiasi gani? E, ilikuwa pakubwa. Yeah. E, ilikuwa sehemu kubwa sana uh-huh. na maji tu ndio kafurusha watu. Yeah. Lakini tuko na tumaini na, na kwamba watarudi okay. sababu wameanza tayari tumeanza kuja. Yeah. Vile imeanza kuhama na imeanza watu wameanza kurudi au ukija next time utawapata tumejaa tumejaa eh tukutoa watu kwa wengi sana <laughs> for now it is not an easy life so ni wanaume tu ndio wanafanya kazi hapa they will stay here until the next time when the zoya decides to liquidate everything Busia is an exciting destination. It is more than a border town. It has exciting islands waiting for explorers. The people here are not divided by borders and live in harmony. There is an abundance of fish. And who can forget the resilient Busia people who have learned to live within Zoya River? Lush waterfalls, beautiful people, legendary stories. Western surely gave us tales for days and we definitely will come back. But until then, this marks the end of our western tour of Homa Bay, Siaya and Busia. Tungeendelea lakini hapa ndio mwisho wa Kenya. Next week, we start a new adventure at the coast. We will show you islands you most likely have never heard of in Kilifi. Thick coastal forests that are sources of rivers. We will take you to the blue forests of Vanga. Kite surfing. Kwa sabaki estuary, maji ya rive ina meet up na ya ocean. And as you can see, the fishermen on that side wameambi wa toke because there's a hippo. We will find ourselves between a rock and a hard place. Oh, you don't want to miss this adventure.